Magikai. I'm a little surprised that with the advent of Magikai technology in the 90s, society didn't divide itself Huxley-like into the elite overlords able to see the 3D dolphins and globes, and the subservient underclass able only to see a mishmash of colored pixels. I suppose it's hard to rule civilization when you've got a massive headache from looking at optical illusions all the time. At any rate, as one of the genetically superior dolphin seers, I like to tell the less visually gifted that it was all just a trick. There was nothing to see in the first place. It makes them so happy. B+. Vase or faces? The problem with this exercise, in which you see either a single lovely vase or a pair of faces, is that once you start seeing negative space profiles, it's hard to stop. And given that most vases aren't designed with visual ambiguity in mind, that means that suddenly you start seeing horrible homunculi everywhere, these, these deformed creatures with sloping foreheads and tumorous chins. Crate and barrel stores become terrifying dens of mutated humanity, while still remaining very, very boring. C minus. Grid with dots. Okay, if you look at a grid of black squares, you see fuzzy little dots at the intersection. Well, yay. I'm sure that was an incredibly entertaining diversion back when the only other distraction was watching Paw Paw die of the flux, but my mind demands a much more thorough boggling. Ephemeral navel lent hanging out at street corners like 50s era street punks just doesn't do it for me. Unless they carried switchblades and started singing show tunes. That'd be a pretty impressive illusion. D. Penrose Stairs. More popularly known as those stairs in that one M.C. Escher drawing with all the stairs, this is a staircase that appears to go up forever. You know, you really have to give Escher credit. It wasn't enough for him to just draw illusions. He made them look like really old, expensive European hotels. You check in, you give your bags to the bellhop, you spend two weeks climbing an endless set of stairs, and you go home and tell your friends, oh, you have to go. I feel so much more worldly now, like I've really grown as a person. A. Old lady or young girl? I see the young girl immediately, although I do wonder why she has an ostrich feather embedded in her head. For years, I thought that the old lady was in her enormous deformity-hiding head tarp, looking kind of pained at having to keep rain in an apartment window slop off a young girl's head. But no, that would have been young girl and old lady in twisted symbiosis. As it turns out, the old lady is made up of the young girl's chin and ear, and she still has an old lady in her head tarp. C.